how's it going guys this is Vlad and welcome to the second tutorial on Altium Designer as you can see we left off with a few resistors a capacitor an LED and a header for our circuit uh, we are currently building the simple 555 timer circuit and let's get started on the layout for our IC which is the main component of our circuit so to do that you go into your project you right click add new to project and we're gonna start we're gonna get started with the PCB library before making the schematic one so add the PCB library, save that in your project and um, just a few quick notes uh, in your top left corner you got your XY coordinates as well as the component uh, the coordinates for your um, offset so what that is, is basically um, as you can see there's a grid and your origin is set at 0 0 and at any point in time you can press insert to reset the second coordinates to wherever your cursor is so you can just go here for example and press insert and that's going to be your zero zero and this is used to facilitate um, component design and pad placement as you will see very soon uh, so to get started on making your uh, LM555 timer and the library for the IC we're going to go to the PCB library and as you can see Altium Designer already made a first component for you so you can double click on that and change its name so LM555 dip because that's the package that we're going to use today LM555 dip IC for your description press OK and there you have it so before we get uh, we start placing pads for our circuit we need to know exactly what the layout layout is so you can go to digikey for example or any other supplier and ch look for a data sheet for that sp specific component so here you have data sheets uh, you press on that and you get the this very nice detailed data sheet from uh, Texas Instruments in this case so for the lay uh, for the layout of the dip uh, I see you can see you have all the dimensions here in inches as well as millimeters so make sure to pay close attention to those uh, when you create uh, your packages so as you can see you have your pins 1 through 4 and then 5 through 8 uh, so and let's get started with the first row of pads in Altium Designer so for that you can either click this button place pad or you can double you can press P twice so as you see you can see you get this very nice little round pad and to change its settings you press tab on your keyboard and as you can see right now it's actually the perfect size as if actually corrected some of the details for this pad so 30 mil that's your standard dip size uh, drill and that's based off the width of your pad you generally want to make it a bit larger than this uh, and your s size and shape obviously it's a round shape and your uh, solar mask is going to be 60 mil which is good uh, the location doesn't matter for us right now because I'm going to show you how to put a linear uh, stack of these pads so and we're going to start with a designator one uh, so let, let, uh, let's put the pad and it doesn't it doesn't really matter where you put it at first so just drop it here and press escape and right now what we're gonna do is copy this uh, pad by with the right key and you wanna set the location to the middle because other, uh, to make your offset easier so just click your left mouse key uh, on it and delete the pad with the delete key so right now we're gonna go into edit paste special uncheck that paste array item count now the item count is uh, used to specify how many pins you're gonna have in your array so one two three four that means you have four pins and the text in increment is obviously going to be one in this case it may be different from uh, for other ICs so it's going to be a linear array and the X spacing is going to be 100 mil so we're going to start from the origin and each pin is going to have 100 mil in between it the Y spacing is, is going to be zero in this case because we want them all to be horizontal press OK and you want to press at the origin so as you can see it's zero zero in the top left corner and there you go so you have your first four pins ready for your IC and now we're gonna see what the spacing is between these four and the top four so as you can see it's point to <coughs> point to four to point to six inches so we're gonna go with point to five which is uh, 
20, uh, 250 mil and in this case you can see you can increment from the fifth pin uh, to the eighth so we can easily do this by s first of all we're gonna set the origin at the fourth pin by pressing the insert key there you go so that's our zero zero we're gonna go back into our paste special we're gonna paste array uh, the white spacing is gonna remain the same but we're walking now from right to left so we're gonna have to do minus 100 mil in this case uh, we're still gonna have four pins and the text increment is gonna be by one so as you can see right now I can very easily just stay aligned with this um, pad and then place our uh, fifth pad at 0 to 50 as you can see in the top left corner so there you go and you have one two three four five six seven eight pins for your IC so you're done with the pads now and as a general um, idea you want to make a top overlay by clicking down here and you make a a line for your circuit and this this doesn't need to be very uh, specific this is just a general outline of your IC so uh, it's obviously a rectangular shape so you just make a quick outline of it and I usually like to place a uh, dot here just to make sure I remember the orientation it's it's not crucial but it's it's nice to have it there so you're done with that and you can save your uh, layout right uh, by clicking on the save button you're now gonna go into projects and you're gonna create uh, a uh, schematic library for your IC because you need to specify which which pin is what so schematic library and you're gonna get this very nice blank page uh, you're gonna navigate into schematic library right here and again you have your component one so default designator this is your um, in this case it's gonna be an IC so you can do IC or you can, sometimes you can do U uh, which should also be okay uh, description this LM555 timer dip IC uh, for your models you, you're gonna add a footprint by clicking down right here you're gonna browse and the first component that it sees is the library that you've created so select that press OK OK and it should show you your current footprint for this uh, IC so as you can see it shows in the bottom right corner so we're gonna start by creating the outline of the IC it has eight pins so what I, I generally like to do is keeping uh, two pins which is the ground and the VCC at the bottom and top and then I would simply have the other pins on the sides and what I mean by that is that you're gonna have one two three one two three pins and one ground and one VCC on top so let's start creating the pins you can just uh, you can click place pins and uh, before we do that to make sure which pin is which you have to refer back to either your data sheet or you can take a look at the circuit they also specify that in the circuit so you can have your pins 1 through 8 but we're gonna go with uh, TI layout so pin 1 is ground so you want to place your first pin which and press tab to edit the pin so the display name is uh, the designator is 1 and the display GND ground passive pin location length I usually like to keep the ground fairly short so 20 is okay by me to rotate the pin at space just like we we did before so you can place ground here at the bottom pin number two is uh, check your circuit again so it's the trigger and the trigger and this is going to be a bit l a longer pin so 30 is good for that um, let's make our make our rectangle a bit bigger so everything fits nicely maybe we can reduce it by one let's see how it looks yeah there you go that looks pretty good to me so that is your trigger pin 
um, let's keep going pin number three is going to be the output pin so output and there you go output pin pin number four pin number four is the reset pin and keep in mind you can place this uh, these pins wherever you want on your circuit you don't have to just follow this the one two three four five uh, you can place them if you feel comfortable in a different layout that's all up to you so pin number five is control voltage so we're just gonna put control okay I'm gonna rotate it at the bottom here pin number six is going to be your threshold pin I'm gonna place it right here pin number seven is the discharge okay place it right here and I'm guessing the last one is the voltage so VCC so pin 8 is VCC and once again we're gonna make it a bit shorter so 20 rotate it correctly and there you go that's that's my general standard layout for the ICs I like to have ground on the bottom and VCC on top for larger ICs it could be a bit different because you're gonna have a lot of different uh, grounds and voltages coming into it so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna save our circuit and save it as it was in your um, project and now you can go back to your project you go back to your schematic and we can add a part just like we did before click on choose uh, go into the schematic library as you can see our component is right there so you're gonna click OK OK and you're gonna put that right in the middle as we want it alright so that was the second tutorial we got our RC done and in the last tutorial we're gonna finalize the connections and make the PCB board uh, so I hope you jo you enjoyed the tutorial and let me know if you have any comments uh, concerns or any suggestions for these tutorials. Thank you very much. Bye.